Hello, I'm Sammy Jones from Star City, Indiana, uh, Pulaski County. Uh, you're on the first robotic dairy farm in Indiana, and also it was the 10th in the nation to put it in. We put it in in February uh, 28th of 2003. This is a family farm. Uh, we have my wife, my son and I uh, do the operation, daily operation of it. Uh, we milk uh, 98 cows today. Uh, with the two robots, we can milk 120. Uh, the herd is 144 cows. Uh, it's very simple. It's uh, just a family deal. Uh, we farm 525 acres, uh, raise all the feed ourselves, do all the work ourselves. This is truly a family farm operation. The cow makes a decision that she wants feed or she wants to be milked. And she proceeds to uh, enter into the robot, and the robot IDs her. And at that point, the uh, robot or the computer makes a decision if she needs to be milked or she doesn't need to be milked. If she needs to be milked, the uh, robot arm swings in, brushes the cow, cleans the udder. Then it, a laser goes in, and it looks for the in the teats. So it actually sees the teats placement. It's an X, Y, and Z coordinate type of thing in a box. So it actually sees them and then it proceeds to attach. It milks each quarter out at the optimum level. So it can be milking one teat longer than the other teat. The milker proceeds to take it off, then it tip dips each quarter, then she is released. While she's in there, she's being weighed also. So it keeps track of weight. The computer scans all this data and it will proceed to tell us if she's losing too much weight or if she's gaining too much weight. What's going on here? It analyzes the milk to give us a reading on the milk quality. It actually will see color in the milk and if the milk is tainted um, red or different color than normal milk and there's red, green and uh, yellow I believe in milk and purple. And so uh, it reads those, and if it's abnormal, it can dump it down the drain and then uh, proceed to, so we don't contaminate the quality of milk that comes out in the store. I don't think the public realizes our milk, when a milkman comes, he takes a sample out of every tank that he collects. Then when he gets into the plant, they take a sample of his bulk truck. If something is wrong with his bulk truck, then they go back to each of those samples and discard that milk and find out where the problem is. So it's traced right back to the farm to see who caused the problems or what the problem is on the farm. My wife, Pam, it tells a story that when we have tours here that uh, our cows have a podiatrist, they have a nutritionist, and they also have a veterinarian. So she's never been to a podiatrist or had a foot massage or anything. So she always makes a joke about that, that her cows are treated better than she is. Uh, the cows have to feel good to go through the robot. So we take care of our cows in a way that they can feel as good as they can feel and still uh, operate as a cow. Uh, with, when we went to the robotic dairy uh, facility, we moved away from a lot of the uh, antibiotics. The cows uh, don't get sick as much. Uh, they don't have as much problems because the cows doing what they want to do. Uh, we have cows that, uh, we have one today that's given 156 pounds of milk and she's milking 4.8 times a day. So her udder doesn't build up that big pressure that she has to carry around and do stress to her. They're just a calmer cow, they just, move at a slower pace, it's amazing. I mean, we've had uh, people tour, our veterinarian, our uh, hoof trimmer, uh, they say they've never been on a dairy like this, that the cows are so laid back. We, Pam and I actually think they're bored, and so we try to think of ways to entice them, 